And to do that, I'm going to go under Surface, Surface Edge Tools, and go to Match here. I click on that, and it asks me to select an untrimmed surface edge to change. So I'm going to select um, one of these edges, and I'll select my bottom edge, because that's the one that was been mirrored. Then select edge to match. So I'll go back in here and select that top surface edge and hit return. Um, it'll ask me ad to adjust the curvature seam, and uh, it's fine where it is. So then I'll hit return, and it pops up my surface match options. Um, and there <coughs> are three different options. Position, which is what uh, we were at before, which is just kind of XYZ position. And that is the least uh, uh, accurate, I guess, uh, method. Tangency, which um, is a little bit uh, more uh, precise uh, way that all of the curves have to be tangent to each other, or curvature, which will actually um, adjust the curvature of your um, meshes so that they all match up perfectly. Uh, so you want to do a, one of the tangency or tangency or curvature, um, and. Uh, you have different um, options here to average the surfaces, refine the match, match edges by closest points, preserve opposite ends. Um, so, you know, you can play around uh, with those. We'll just leave them at the default for now. Again, we can preserve our ISO curves, match the tangent ISO curve, make perpendicular to tangent edge or automatic, and I'll leave that at automatic, and um, hit match. And uh, now if we zoom in here, we can see that our lines are uh, lining up a little bit better. Uh, so that did that outside edge. And now there's another edge in here, which I can see, you know, there is a little bit off. So I'm going to go back and do that again for the inside edge. Um, leave those the match. Same. And now that inside curve is good. My outside curve is good. I um, seem pretty good there. All right. Um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to select those and um, join them together. So now I have a solid um, thing made out of uh, poly surfaces.